know. After all this time, after all I've been through. Stay here. Your mother and I need to talk. This is all you have for me? And of all places, you chose this room. You think I don't hear that? Stop crying! Don't make me come in there! So many memories. This... this one room filled with more memories than I can count. I thought I told you to be quiet! Oh, the lovely memories. I imagined him standing there, all smug and pleased with himself, thinking this piece of canvas was somehow going to fix everything. I imagined what I would say to him, what I would do. My daddy... You shouldn't have. You really... shouldn't... I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Hey, princess. What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. But... Why pink? It's... it's me. But what does it mean? Oh, there has to be more to this. What is this supposed to... Wait. The lines are... Oh, yes! Now, now I see it! Like you knew I would. I had to dig deep to uncover what my father really wanted me to find. In the process, 
I realized what he was trying to tell me. This house was nothing but a tomb. There was nothing left for me here. No answers. No solace. No closure. My true inheritance lay within. And then, just like that, it finally happened. For the first time in my life, I saw the world through my father's eyes. I was once told that insanity runs in my family, 